Hello, I hope you're well. My name is Alejandro Stambrano, Chief Global Market Strategist with ATFX London. In today's market update, I will cover the remarkable rise of stock market indices since they bottomed out in December. Following a very bearish fourth quarter for the S&P 500 uh, and other global stock market indices, we have seen a very, very strong rise in the S&P 500 is about 4% away from its 2018 high and up by about 21.5% from its December low. The strong rise in stock market indices have surprised most analysts and traders. Uh, given the weakness we have seen in economic indicators such as the PMI indicator, US retail sales, and lately now the known from perils which printed 20,000 versus about 183,000 projected. Now, the Atlanta Fed GDP Now model is even projecting that GDP rose by 0.4%. Uh, in the first quarter, compare that with the fourth quarter reading of 2.6% uh, uh, annually. Uh, so a remarkable change in the economic conditions of the US. Now, what can explain this remarkable rise we have seen in stock markets? And could it be that analysts and traders are just looking at this from the wrong angle altogether? A lot of analysts and traders to look at economic data and then try to use the economic data to try to explain what's going to happen with stock market prices. But I think here people just forgot that the stock market is a discounting mechanism. Because you see, when investors are buying shares in something like Apple today, it is because they believe that Apple will continue to produce money in the future, maybe develop uh, some new products and that is going to cost the company to do more sales and increase in value. So they're buying today because what they think is going to happen in the future. And people tend to forget that. And why this is interesting now is because the US stock market was doing really well, if you think about it. It was up at a new all-time high in October. And since October, it started to trade lower. And it's first after that that we started to see weakness in US economic indicators. Now, stock markets bottomed out. Uh, they even bottomed out in places like China. And since then, we have seen uh, US market PMI composite have a sharp bounce to the upside. We have seen things like the uh, Eurozone industrial production uh, improve slightly. And we have seen uh, Caxing PMI uh, manufacturing in China almost rise above the 50 uh, threshold level. So we're starting to see economic data now improve following stock markets. So it looks to me that the stock market is leading the economic data, not the other way around. Of course, the euro is still out there. We could still have a situation where the data does not improve and then people are going to start to challenge why stock markets are trading at these highs. But the way things look right now, the market is projecting a stabilization in the world economy and they're also projecting, I suspect, a, a good trade deal between US and China. If you think about it, if they get a good deal through, firstly, you remove all tariffs. That's going to bring us back to where we were uh, in the beginning of 2018. Now, what if they get a really, really good deal that's going to allow companies like Apple and big companies to do direct investments in China and potentially tap into that uh, market, which just happens to be the world's biggest economy? Things could change dramatically, and this could definitely potentially send stock markets higher. We'll see what happens over the next few weeks and months as we get more data and people will have an opportunity to reevaluate their situation.